Hybrid communications are the combination of on-premises communication services and equipment available from the cloud. With hybrid communications, organizations can benefit from the best of two worlds. It enables them to continue using their existing communication servers and devices, such as desk phones, whilst taking advantage of new services they consume and pay for on demand. There are two main areas where hybrid communications make sense and bring significant benefits. UCAS, which is an acronym for Unified Communications as a Service, and CPAS, which is an acronym for Communications Platform as a Service. UCAS is a cloud-based service that offers the same features and capabilities, and sometimes more, as on-premises UC does. One immediate benefit is that no deployment is required, as everything is in the cloud. Another instant benefit is that CapEx is minimized, as the services are offered under a subscription model, where you pay per user for what you consume. UCAS can be used in addition to any existing communication equipment to perform corporate telephony functions. The combination of the two creates a hybrid communications architecture. UCAS enables not only the adoption of UCNC tools within the enterprise, but also expands beyond the organization as the cloud-based architecture breaks down the walls between companies. Communication Platform as a Service, which is abbreviated as CPAS, acts as a cloud-based digital hub connecting people, objects, applications, and enabling real-time communications between them. CPAS offers SDKs and APIs so developers can integrate communications capabilities with their business environment to create communication-enabled business services from the cloud. Here again, leveraging existing on-premises communication systems. Organizations can go step by step and implement hybrid communications as their digital engagement unfolds. First, they can use UCAS as a standalone service to make their users familiar with the team workspace capabilities, such as group discussions, instant messaging, file exchange, and screen sharing. Then, they can connect to their PBXs to enable new features and services, such as carrier-grade conferencing services, for example. For CPAS, it will depend on their business priority. Many organizations start using CPAS to reinvent digital engagement with their customers. Integration with CRMs and implementation of chatbots are some examples of what can easily be done to bring an immediate business value. So that's it for now. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like and share and check out the other episodes of the Connex web series. Bye.